Welcome to the Daily Roar. I'm Piper Edge, and here are today's headlines. Obama on terror attacks. We stand in solidarity with Belgium. Trump and Clinton win Arizona prize. Cruz and Sanders notch victories in Utah and Idaho. Yes, men earn more than women. Uber is offering a $10,000 bounty for security bugs. Fresh Allergy Inc. recalls chicken salad products due to misbranding and undeclared allergens. Delphi Automated Vehicle. Brussels Attack. Two brothers behind the Belgium bombings. Tennis tournament director resigns after sexist remarks sparks outrage. Alley Go 360 Degrees Action Cam and Dog Vinci. The U.S. will do whatever it can to help Belgium bring to justice those responsible for Tuesday's terror attacks, President Barack Obama declared Tuesday. Obama urged international unity in the fight against terror after the attacks left at least 34 people dead. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton padded their delegate totals with convincing wins in the valuable Arizona primary Tuesday night, but their respective rivals, Ted Cruz and Bernie Sanders, kept the race alive with victories in the Utah and Idaho caucuses. The gender pay gap is often oversimplified. Women were told they earn between 76 cents to 79 cents for every dollar men earn, but it all does depend on what you do for a living. Uber is giving its bug bounty program two shots in the arm. The ride-sharing company announces a new program that will pay a hacker a whopping $10,000 for each critical problem they find with the app's code. Freshology Inc., a Burbank, Caliph establishment, is recalling approximately 111 pounds of ready-to-eat chicken salad due to the misbranding and an undeclared allergen. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Services announced today. Delphi the vehicle communicates with the driving environment to make the driving experience safer. It detects street signs, traffic lights, other cars, and even pedestrians. Real Tech has made a helmet camera that uses sensors to get 180 degree coverage. Alley Go, the camera, combines the video in the unit using Qualcomm processors. Two of the men who carried out attacks in Brussels on Tuesday have been named by the Belgian media as the brothers Khalid and Brahim El Bakrawi. Broadcasters RBTF quoted a police source as saying Brahim was a suicide bomber at the Zaventon airport. Twin explosions there killed about 14 people. It said Khalid was the suicide bomber at the Malbig metro station where about 20 people died. The tennis tournament director, who drew sharp criticism Sunday after saying professional women players ride on the coattails of men, has resigned. Indian Wells owner Larry Ellison announced Monday night. Dog Vinci the dog, who has made it viral by becoming a canine artist, Dagger the Black Labrador had developed dexterity skills during this time training to become a service dog. His service dog career was cut short, but his painting abilities has opened new doors. Thank you for watching The Daily Roar. I'm Piper Edge, and we'll see you tomorrow.